Imagine you walking with your president, the president of your country, and you are walking with him on the streets. Imagine how careful you will become. Imagine how conscious you will be. Imagine how deliberate you will be with your actions. That is how the presence of God is. The presence of God will hinder you. I mean the presence of God will literally hinder you. It will hinder your appetites. The kind of things you crave for. The presence of God will hinder your cravings. You can't just crave for anything. Like you are a child of God, you, you want to start doing kind of um, things that don't glorify God. The presence of God in you will not even permit it. The presence of God will hinder your relationships. It will hinder your association. You can't have a relationship with just anyone. You can't have an association with just anyone. The presence of God will hinder even the kind of businesses you do. You can't just do any kind of business. You can't just get into fraud because it has much profit making. The presence of God will hinder you from that. The presence of God will hinder you from marrying just anybody you see. You can't just marry an unbeliever. But you know, when you don't have the presence of God, you are at ease. There is no yoke on you. Jesus said, take my yoke. <laughs> Many of you have not taken his yoke on you. If you carry the yoke of Jesus on you, you will be hindered, when I mean positively hindered from darkness. You will not go anywhere you want to go. You will not talk anyhow. You will not live any, you won't even dress anyhow. I see lots of ladies dressing like ladies today that will dress like prostitutes. They will dress, you know, Proverbs talked about the attire of the harlot. They will dress in the attire of the harlot. And when you ask them, they say, oh, I'm a believer, but what I'm wearing does not concern my Christian faith, you know, it's all about the heart. No, you have not met Jesus. If you carry the presence of God, the presence of God will prune your wardrobe. The presence of God will purge your wardrobe. It will purge the way you appear. The presence of God will purge your appetites, purge your cravings, purge your associations, purge your relationships, purge you from decisions. You begin to live carefully like that man that is walking with his president. Can you compare God with your president? That mortal man that can die any day. Huh? So when you are walking with God, when you're walking with his presence, you walk with carefulness. You walk with diligence. The Bible said a man that sits to see, uh, eat with a king must put a knife on his throat if he be a man given to appetite. You must give due diligence to your relationship. 